power learning. The biggest complaint about learning is, I don't have time. Hey, Michelle here with michellestefferson.com, and what I do is coach small business owners and network marketers on how to build their business online without having to chase down friends and family. So, there's no time for learning, eh? <laughs> now, that could be true. We already have our 24 hours in each day scheduled, so if we want to learn more, we have to take something out of our current fully scheduled 24-hour day. Now, here are some of the things I took out of my day so that I would have time to learn more. I stopped listening to music. Now, this was easy. I'm not really much of a music fan anyway, and I didn't need my subconscious mind to work harder memorizing music lyrics. I could find better things to memorize. I also stopped watching the news. Easy. I already knew the pattern. Bad things happened today, and now let's report on more bad things. I stopped watching television. Harder to do. This was gradual, a little less, then less, then less, and finally was easy to say, hey, I can choose what I want to watch and read on the internet. I don't have to sit and watch a channel on television. Bowling. <laughs> I haven't played in a very long time, and spending three or four hours throwing a ball was a total waste of my time. Now, if I had used bowling for prospecting, that would have been different. I simply spent my time mindlessly throwing a ball down an alley. I squeezed in more learning time by adding this technique, listening to audios. I'm visual and I like to read. I don't really like audio. However, when I'm in the car, I now listen to audio podcasts of subjects I would like to learn. Reading while driving is not recommended, so audio adds more learning time for me. So, what will you do to squeeze in more learning time? Comment below with what you'll do and share this with anyone that will get value. I look forward to seeing those comments. See you in the next quick tip video. Bye for now.